For the machine gun, Carl Anderson, I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. We are the world famous good brothers of the OG Bullet Club, and you are watching and or listening to Perched on the Top Rope. The following announcement has been paid for by Perched on the Top Rope. So guys, you guys have had a lot of merchandise released over the last two years. Uh, something I'm personally a big fan of is the micro brawlers. Yeah. That were released on uh, Shop Impact uh, last year. Yep. Uh, your guys, your micro brawlers were actually one of the first ones to completely sell out. How yeah. does that feel? Yeah. Uh, just to have them go so fast, like pretty much immediately. Because I remember sitting yeah, on right. Shop Impact that day waiting. They, to, uh, they sold out <laughs> quick. No, it feels good, man. Um, you know, it, it reminds us of. Uh, kind of the legacy that we've built and are building and it, it's very cool and we appreciate people obviously buying our merch but wanting something collectible like that and then you know i think we were pretty impressed too because we just did um our own brand our talking shop of mania micro brawlers and uh those things flew off the the proverbial shelves as well so uh anytime you have a new toy come out it's great we just had the super sevens come out they got impact wrestling logos on them for the first time it Impact technically has had a figure with its branding on it in years, so we're pushing for that. We hope to see an Impact Wrestling figure line coming, and uh, yeah, we love all that stuff. I grew up a wrestling figure nerd. Not, I didn't stay a wrestling figure nerd as much as our friends Myers and Cardona, but it's still very cool. <laughs> it's funny you brought that up. I just checked in at, uh, at, in Tampa Airport yesterday, and the guy that was checking me in said he just he that he wanted to too sweet me, of course. But then he also <laughs> talked about the micro baller, which is funny. You just brought yeah, up. people love them. I think we need some Funko Pops. That's one thing we don't have. Let's get some Funko no, Pops. It's, it's cool. Our good brother, the people that have us have our backs, have used, most of the time have been following They're us in New Japan fans. or whatever. Yeah. And there's not much hate there. It's it's the ones that follow us love us, and like you know we love them for that. So. Right. And the ones Special. that hate us really do. So yeah. we love you. For the ones that, that hate us hate us too. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know the real us though. They're the ones that saw us from in New York or whatever. And that's right. it. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And you touched on it a little bit, the uh, Super 7s. What was kind of the process of uh, getting those going? And long. <laughs> very, very but long. But it makes sense now that we know how the process of those because those are the details that go into those. They're also know? a huge toy company that have all these you know, licenses like, like Cardona and Myers could speak better on this because they, they were the ones who kind of uh, go, hey, they want to do four talent. They want us to and the two of you because we were the only people that, you know, I think of that value that we're non-exclusive at the time and could do a toy line, and Impact was cool enough to let us do it. Yeah. Uh, and then they came out, and we've been signing them at these. Uh, we've been doing a lot of signings lately, and people love them. They're they're awesome. So it's 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 cool to see the collectible fans grow up and be adults and still appreciate that stuff. I have one on my mantle of him. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds great, guys. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you hit subscribe so you can get all our content here at Perched on the Top Row. And fans, remember, spoiler freeze, the way to be. I'm out. Mm -hmm.